Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mungo Collects. So Lady M and I have been coin hunting in Guernsey. That's the Guernsey map there. Got to do £250 worth of 50 pences that we got out of the NatWest Bank over in, in Guernsey here. This is coming from the Premier Inn, all the glamorous of places. I'm going to do the first part of the hunt. Lady M is going to do the second part of the hunt. There just isn't enough space uh, to get us both uh, around it. But before I go through my half of the 50p's, just want to show you of the, the coins that we found in the change. And also I've made a few purchases as uh, as well. So this is the Guernsey Definitive Currency, everything up to the, to the £2. We'll start with the penny with a crab on. So I've got a few of them. Um, went into a charity shop and um, asked them to do a, a little bit of a swap for us. And there's the, the Jersey the Jersey cow on their 2p. A yacht here. Tomatoes are the flavor of the day in terms of the 2p. So Guernsey's famous for its tomatoes. The cows are on the two pence because it's famous for cows, just like Jersey is. Apparently milk and butter is the way to go. 20 p's, these are quite cool. We've got a, a map of the island on, right in the middle there. And the 50 p's are all the same year, 2012. They do seem to be the flavor of the month, or the flavor of the day. It's as if they've released a batch of these, or these are the ones that they're currently, they're currently circulating. So all 2012 Guernsey Freesias. So yes, got, I got one of each, or pretty much one of each from a charity shop. The rest I got from my friend June, who uh, who lives over here. So she was keeping some, asking people to get them in a change. That's why I've got so many, because we're only in Guernsey for, for not quite two days, just the, the one night. Right, I found a, a shop that was selling coins and stamps in the old H. Samuel shop in the, in the centre of Guernsey. And I bought these, a pound each. So this is a Jersey 50p, and I got this because I've got a new affinity for the Grone Castle. If you haven't seen um, my hunt from the Jersey coins, do go back and watch that. 1988, it's the big chunky 50p, the bigger version before it was made smaller. Bit of a comparison there. Just three millimetres difference, although it is a little bit uh, thicker. So I paid a pound for that, I just thought it was just cool. And a pound for these, so these are the, the, the crowns, or 25 pence, five shillings, wherever you want to, wherever you want to call them. And I just got different designs. I thought for a pound each, I can't fall off really. And I just wanted to buy something. So that's a Guernsey and a Jersey version of the same coin with their, their shield on there, their coat of arms. Two different portraits on the back. The queen is, is crowned there on the one on the right and she's got the, the tiara on the on the left so this one will be certainly a lot older yep 1978 oh no oh look at it oh no I'm, I'm thinking yeah that that one i recognize from the from the uk coins has been the older version of a portrait but that one's actually even older the crown version 1966 cool so i've got them too uh, and this one because I just think it looks cool. I'm not even sure what that is. I think it's it's something to do with the the war. I'm sure something to do with the battlement, some kind of settlement. There's loads of stuff over here in uh, in Guernsey, just like there is around Jersey. The defences where they're defending against the Germans and before that the French. So yeah, it looks like a. I don't I don't actually know what it is. So please do tell me in the comments. So yes, yeah, that's cool. Like them. I say for a quid, I didn't think I was I was robbed. And also in the same shop, I bought, I managed to find some Olympic tat, some Olympic stuff. I could have bought loads of these, but in the end I just got 12 because it was 12 for 10 pounds. There would have been a pound each. So these are covers, stamps. So I, I do like, those of you who may well know, I do like 2012 merchandise. So these are envelopes with uh, with stamps on. And I just picked out some of the some of the some of my favourites. So the gold medal winner there, Laura Trott, Nicola Adams, who did the boxing, Alistair Brownlee, he won there. It was triathlon. Andy Murray did the the tennis, uh, athletics for for Greg Rutherford, and Mo Farrow again athletics on the track. He did the the ten thousand meters. Did he do the five thousand as well? He got two. Did he get two golds? I'm sure he did. Um, also picked these up. Kind of not Olympics, but close enough. They're the 2002. Um, are these the Commonwealth Games? There must be because I've seen the Commonwealth. There we go. The Commonwealth sign. Not to be confused with the Cali Cup there. Um, so yeah, I got these. A few of these for the for the why nots. I was going to get more 2012, but I thought these are cool. 
I like them. And then my favourite one of all is right at the end, number 12. It's got Wenlock on the, the Olympic mascot and that one stamp. I do already have that one, but I just thought he was cool. Wenlock just stuck on there. So there we go, some Olympic tat as well. And he also got me, you might have known from the previous video, I did mention that I got the uh, Guinness Book of Records for the Olympics from a charity shop for 50p, but that is currently propping up my phone and um, doodah combo to try this makeshift cobble together magic studio. Right, 50p's, we've got, we're off, we're off for a start. We've got one straight away because that is not a UK portrait, 1997. Uh, is this a Jersey one? It is. Ah, oh, ironic. So the first one we fired in Guernsey is a Jersey 50p with the Groner Castle on. The smaller, the smaller version at the first year that was issued. So yeah, for those of you that I'm going to put the the Jersey ones here. So uh, for those of you that don't don't necessarily know Jersey and Guernsey, Channel Islands, just off the English coast, there is. English Channel, there is our first Guernsey Frisias, 2008. I'm expecting to see a lot of Frisias. It is their definitive instead of the shield. I'm gonna put them along here in data order. We'll go, well, I'll move that 2012s to there and the eight a little bit further down the row. We'll have a top row of commemoratives. So yes, the um, channel, uh, just south of the English Channel, just off the French coast, and they do accept English money as well as Jersey and Guernsey currency, completely interchangeable. Right, nice second date there, 1997. Another Guernsey one there, Guernsey Frisias. So we've already got two different dates and another Jersey, Groner Castle. 2012, got plenty of 20 or 12s when they did the Jersey coin hunt. Right, I just need to move them out of the way, make a bit of space, because these will need to go back into the bank today we got them yesterday the lady in the bank was very very kind to me i went to the nat west the bank with the nat west in the uk and uh, they took all the two pound coins i had off me and the 50 piece that i had from the that I brought over from jersey they allowed me to take them and they gave me 250 pounds worth of 50 pences and the rest in notes so because i can't of course take everything back on the plane with us right that was an all english bag an all uk bag they call it english over here if you're talking about currency it's uh, it's either english or guernsey or jersey not rather than uk right 2008 another guernsey freesias 2012. Ooh, we're laughing in this bag lots and lots of uh, guernseys here is that four out of five Another 2008. I think it's 2006 we're looking for. The most valuable. Oh, get in! This app. Oh, you absolute beauty. This has made the trip. This is the one that I was after. The Liberation coin. I, uh, I regretted not buying them in 2020 when they came out, when they were celebrating 25 years of uh, being liberated by the Germans in the, in the Second World War. They did circulate this in both Jersey and Guernsey. Didn't get one in, in Jersey, but I have got one in Guernsey. Get in. That is the um, that has made my day. Absolutely made. I could find a Kew Gardens now, and uh, that would, uh, wouldn't be as good as that. That is for sure. Value-wise, definitely, uh, <laughs> the Kew Gardens would definitely be more valuable. But I found a Kew Gardens before, just the one. There's a 2012. Never found a Liberation 50p. So that is absolutely outstanding and only a few bags in as well i am buzzing and lots more guernseys in here what else do they circulate so yes we know about the another 2012 we might get sick of seeing these 2012 2012 we um circulated 50 piece because they don't do that many in jersey another 2012 um commemoratives another 2012 yeah, I had a feeling this was going to happen because asking in the tills, all they seemed to have was 2012. Ah, 2006. Was was it the 2006? Is the rare one, Vivian? I think it is, you know. I will have to check. Uh, I'm I'm doubting it now, but I think I think that's the I think that's the kill. That's the the the, the boy, old lady. Yeah? 2006, a tenner. Tenner's worth maybe. Right. 
Woo, exciting, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it, I'm, ooh, I don't know, I doubt myself now. Seems to be too easy to find or find it so quick, 2012, 1997. Oh, yes. Thank you, Nat West. Thank you to the lady in the Nat West that listened to my babbling on about why you wanted some 50 pence. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so circulating coins in Guernsey. So there's not many in Jersey, but in Guernsey, they have quite a few different commemoratives. Huh, 2019 Shield. So they've got the uh, the pantomime 50Ps, so the ones with the ladding on and Cinderella. They were circulated. The Liberation one that we've already found. They also did the... Oh, hang on. I'm too excited. My, my head's full of 2006. Um, 2006, what do you call it? 2006 Frasers. Uh, what am I thinking of? What's the other thing? Kind of Christmassy related. Oh, yes. So the likes of, it would say, um, Away in a Manger, that type of thing. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. The writing on the coins there. So they, they circulated as well. And of course, got plenty of coins that they didn't circulate. There's a dictionary. <laughs> plenty of them were minted and obviously they found their way over to Guernsey. There's a 2012 and another one. And another one. Uh, and another one. I wish they were valuable. Another dictionaries. What will be interesting to know is have any of the newer commemoratives, UK commemoratives, found their way over here? So you think, yes, okay, dictionaries, they made 17 million of them. They've been out now for, you know, since 2005. So they could have easily made their way over to Guernsey from the UK, but have some of the newer ones. That was something that Tomato Helen mentioned to me. So Tomato Helen uh, has watched the channel for a long time. She lives over here in Guernsey. We have to start at second row for the 2012. And uh, it was something that she proposed to me, something that she said. Um, she wonders whether they're over, over here yet. I can't remember what we got. Ah, they're 2008, a slightly different date. Slightly different flavour to the 2012s or another one. That is not in particularly good condition. So I can't remember what was the, if you got any newer 12, any newer commemoratives in the Jersey hunt. Oh, there's another Jersey, Groney Castle, 1997. Um... Yeah, but it'd be interesting to see whether they've got over here already. Two more 2012s. Another interesting fact for you in Guernsey is that reading their information, so their guidebook that you can pick up for free when you get off the ferry or the off the plane, um, and it said that the Jersey guidebook said the same as well, actually says that the 50p's, the currency over here, including the banknotes, is legal tender in the UK. Now, I know there's a definition of what is legal tender, what shops will accept or not. Um, and it did recommend that you didn't leave your old, old UK bag there. Didn't recommend that you took your notes uh, and coins away with you. Uh, they suggested you spent it all here before you left. Or, or changed it back from, with the banks to English money. But, it does, it, but they were quite clear it was, it was legal tender. So that's a, that'll be an interesting debate. Interesting to see whether shops would accept it. And like you know, I know there's a definition exactly, you know, not, and I don't know it, and I don't want to um, even pretend to know it. And I know a shop's going to accept what they want. It's up to them. You can do it in groats, if you like, or potatoes, or bananas, or buffalo wings. But interesting that they actually mention it in their, both countries mention it in their bump. I don't think I'm going to be taking all them 2012s home. Surely nobody needs that many 2012 uh, freezers. Surely, surely not. Right, so I've got four bags left. And then Lady M will be doing the business. So that's a shiny 2012. She'll be doing the biz. She'll be seeing whether she can beat me. I think she'll be struggling with a Liberty coin, Liberation coin. And her, uh, her heroic acts. And that 2006, but I will check the 2006 is the year we're looking for. I'm certain it is. And about a 10 is worth. Oh, 2003, nice. Different, uh, different year. 2003, 
2003 is the year we're looking for for the in the jersey currency that was the year that wasn't circulated nice condition 2012 Imagine finding an NIFC in uh, an NIF, NIFC jersey coin in Guernsey. There's a 1997, not in particularly good condition for that one. What I might do is I might just have a filter through and put some of the more poor condition ones back into uh, circulation. 1998, this looks like a jersey Grone Castle, and it is. Was that 98 or was that 2012? So three different years of the Grooney and another 2012. That's the bag after this has got a little note in it, like a little slip of paper. Hopefully it says, bungle in here, you will find lots of 2006 freezes or liberation coins, right? Another 2008. Another 2012. I'll make a third stack. Because Lady M still got whoops. Plenty to go through. Another 2003. I'm confident I found 2000s, uh, 97s, 2003s, 2008s, and 12s in the UK. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what is interesting. What I will do, there's another 2012. We do have the mintage figures for for Guernsey coins, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look. Certainly for the Frisias, don't know about for the Liberation Liberty coins. Liberation, oh, it is Liberation. Isn't it? And there's a little note, and it says ten pound. Nice. Oh, you, you beauty. There is another one. Got another one. Lady M, we've got another one. It's not as in nice a condition as that one. That is shiny. But there's two. Lady M, this is going to take some beating. I'm telling you. There's another Guernsey. Well, it's just turned into a competition, hasn't it? You get 100 points for a 2006 wow. Frasers and uh, 1 million points for uh, the Liber Liberation thing. Well, and now we've got two. That means I'll, I will definitely be giving one away. I will probably do it as a member's prize. I do do it. We have a monthly for our people that join join the channel and pay 99p uh, mon monthly membership to the channel, where you get our exclusive live stream and other bits and pieces of perks and uh, what have you. That uh, that can be one of the prizes. Ah, Roger of the banister, two off. This is my final bag. Before oops, before I hand over to Lady M. So yeah, Tomato Helen might have a just check me out 2004. Tomato Helen might have a point about trying to find the, or suggesting obviously that the the newer commemoratives may not necessarily be found over here. I have been checking for years as well, uh, not intended for circulation years as I go along. I kind of do that out of habit now. So. As in non -inter not intended for circulation years in the Doofin Dangler. Right, that's uh, let me do a review. I think uh, I think what we'll probably do, Lady M, because this this video is going to be way over 15 minutes and closer to 20 minutes. I might even just do it as a separate video, as a separate upload. I think um, rather than continue, and it gives me a chance just to check the mintage figures of all these. So I'll sign off by going through my plums. And uh, plum finds, the top finds are going to be, without a doubt, them three. Absolutely over the moon with them. The, this absolutely is what I wanted. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure that's a tenner's worth. So I'll be getting snaffled into the, uh, into the, what do we call it, collection. Right, okay, stay tuned for part two. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe so you'll be notified when Lady M's video uploads. She'll take over from from me from where I am here and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.